So we all know that in diabetes, what is the basic pathophysiological defect? It is the sugar which is not metabolized in the body. So we have four type of taste, all of us know the sweet. What we are asking for is the sweet thing. Most of the time we want that carbohydrate. We do not want that carbohydrate rich food to be taken. And it has to be replaced with something which is sweet. So in the course of time, so artificial sweeteners came in. There are various artificial sweeteners available in the market. And many questions are raised whether we should take it or we should not take it. There are certain principles of using it. Today I will tell you. First and foremost, what type of agent you are choosing. There are usually in the market, there are four types. One is a saccharin. Then second one is a sucralose. Third one is aspartame or acesulfame. And the fourth one is a stevia. Many questions are being raised regarding the safety of these agents. Two things must be remembered that these are not to be used in those who are pregnant and those who are having renal dysfunction. Another thing to be taken into account is that you should not take them in large doses. Take it at minimum possible dose per day. We know they are less in calories, but then this being a chemical agent can definitely lead to carcinogenic or teratogenic effects in long run. In short run, they are quite safe and can very well be taken, but at a modest dose. Replacing them, replacing sugar with this is definitely not a welcome step. All of us to overall should reduce the carbohydrate content in the diet and maintain the calorific value which is required during, uh, during the 24 hours time. 